Happening right now as we join you at 6 o'clock, the search for a boater who's been missing now for nearly a day. They are looking for Matthew Minard around Denton Creek. His two-year-old son, Oliver, was found safe this morning. Our Yona Gavino, live where drone technology is helping with this search. Police believe the pair's boat may have encountered some sort of just random accident out there on the water overnight, but they are now using drones to search where these officers can't. Searchers are determined to find Matthew Minert. We're hopeful, that's what we're here for. Is the boy found south or north? Drones are playing a key role in the effort. It's knocking a lot of time out. We're able to clear a lot of, a lot of area uh, really quick, and then we're able to search a lot of areas that you just can't get boats into or, or uh, canines or that type of thing. Officer Barry Moore is part of a response team made up of several agencies with drones. They we're able to zoom in tighter to the ground, and that helps a lot. Matthew's boat ran aground last night with a cell phone, food, and shoes inside, but no trace of passengers until this morning. His two-year-old son, Oliver, walked up to searchers barefoot. Police don't know how he survived. There was quite a few hours that he was out there by himself um, weathering these conditions. Oliver scratched up, but otherwise okay. Like I said, he told him that he was cold and thirsty. He wanted yep. some juice, and, and essentially that was the extent of their conversation. The Minard family didn't want to go on camera, but said Matthew is an avid boater. His wife shared this picture taken yesterday just before they set out on a fishing trip. No one expected to find a two-year-old this morning, so we're going to continue this as, as a search and rescue and, until, you know, something else happens. Boats are gone from the water, but canine teams are now out searching. No word when they'll end tonight, but I'm told that fresh teams, fresh searchers, will be back out here sharp tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Live in Trophy Club, Yona Govino, CBS 11 News. Yo.